Oh look, it's another TV box. It's probably got a TV in it. So you can probably guess. This is another fixed or fucked, and it's another TV fixed or fucked. Don't I sound thrilled? Actually, I am quite thrilled. I just figure anybody watching is going, oh, for fuck's sake, it's always a TV. Well, fear not, there are non-TV things coming up. I hope. Uh, <laughs> but it's a TV that was uh, sold as, um, what was it sold as? Doesn't come on, LED blinks red and green. And then I noticed when it turned up outside my door, I don't know if you'll be able to see, uh, no power blank screen. Blank or black? Blach. <laughs> Block screen. Uh, no power black screen or blank screen. Hmm. Uh, no power would tend to lead me to think, well, how's the LED blinking red and green if there is no power? But first I need to unbox it. And then I can worry about further things. Because after buying this, I did some research. Why, why would I do the research before buying it? And it could be that it's bad software. And the solution is apparently to reflash the software. And that's fine, right? You just go to Toshiba's website, pull down the, with the software. Apparently it's made by Vestal, who don't seem to have a good reputation. It's not like everything's made by them, though, from what I could gather. So you go out and you buy, oh, I want to buy a really good make, and I'll pay twice as much as this supermarket owned grade crap. And you're just getting the same thing. Apparently. I don't know how true that is, but apparently. <sighs> but yeah, you uh, go download the software, put it on your USB stick, blah, blah, blah. I went to Toshiba's website, and verily, I said, oh, uh, hey, I want software for one of your TVs. And they said, yeah, that one doesn't exist, mate. <laughs> don't know why. It just does not, it's not on their site. I don't know. Oh look, there's a... Oh bloody hell, I've just bought one of these for something else. Yeah, um... There's a remote. With batteries! Bloody hell, they've left their Poundland Panasonic... Panasonic? Panasonic batteries in. So there's another one, Panasonic are a good make. Why have they got their name on shit batteries? I do not know. Right. Well, it doesn't weigh much. Quite glad of that. The Samsung TV, 32 inch, which I need to find the video files before I can upload, is uh, very nice and slimline. These, this is not slimline. I want something that fits really tight up against the wall. And uh, the Samsung will do that, but dear God, it's heavy. It's like twice the weight of this thing. Has the screen survived? That's really because what I was saying about software. Oh, I have downlighters. What I was saying about software is I can't actually. It might be a very small. That's no, just a smear. Um, I can't get the software for this. So I need to probably replace the board if it powers on. If I get a blinky light, then I go away and I buy a board and then I come back, fit it, and hopefully we have a fix, not a fox. But <laughs> I should just be able to download the bloody software. Can't. Just can't. Just. This doesn't exist. I mean, I can see it. It's there. But apparently, no, there is no TV for the 32D, what is it, 3753, whatever the hell, 3350s. This model does not exist. So this TV cannot exist. So my table, this is, this is a hallucination. I've not even had the rum and I'm hallucinating TVs. <sighs> right, plug it in, turn it on. Oh, look. Well, you, I say, oh, look, you can't see it from there. You still can't see it? Can you see? I'll bring it over here. See that? I would say that that is not no power. Because, look, if there was no power, it wouldn't be doing that. Although this is a TV that doesn't exist. So can I be certain that a TV that does not exist actually has no power when it's lighting something up? I don't know. Right. <sighs> Well, anyway, there's nothing more I can do here until I go and buy something and then wait. I have to wait. Hmm, guess you don't. And while you're not waiting, because I've not been waiting either, but while you're not waiting, that's not a good sign. I have security. This is void if this seal is broken. And I don't know if the seal is broken. <sighs> no, the seal does not appear to be broken, but the screw does not appear to be tight in. Neither does that one. 
Possibly that one's okay. I think somebody's been here before and they've pretended to repair it. Mmm. Don't think that went well, did it, guys? Anyway, I'm going to pop the back off just to double check the circuit board. You don't need to see the taking the back off because it's just take out the already <laughs> nicely taken out screws. I'm going to pop the back off, double check the part number on the circuit board, and if it is the one I think it is, order the cheapy one that I saw last night. Screw, sir. Bloody thousands of them. That's my terrible Zulu reference. More screws in this than Michael Caine faced Zulus in that movie. Ah, <sighs> anyway, after taking, I figured I'd show the back coming off. After taking a thousand screws out, a, a thousand, uh, some of them hidden, very well hidden, thousands of the bloody things, very carefully lifted around the edge just to break the seal, and then, and then, the power cable is such a clever design that I have to feed it back, and there you go. Just in case you were curious, that's the remnants of Halloween, that's the inside of a TV. What can I see? I can see the insides of a TV. I'm just curious as to why it appears somebody's been here in here before. I can't see... it doesn't look like anything's been replaced. I don't know. But anyway, that has to come out. And it is a... hey, it is a 17MB110P. Which apparently I can go and buy for £5.43 pence right now. So I've got to get one of those. I'm going to set this one out. Somewhere there is a bin waiting for this. It has a this shaped space inside it and I'm going to drop a new one in. I'll get on with that very soon. You know, I think somebody has been here before. I didn't think so. When the back came off I looked and I thought, no that all looks, because the power board looks fine and that's where I figured people might go. No, look at that. That looks a bit fluxy, doesn't it? Not even in a sort of capacitor kind of way. There's there's a dampness, there's an, a sheen, a, a non-uniform sheen over this. I think somebody has tried to replace that memory chip on this Vestal Toshiba, Toshiba TV Vestal. I don't know, I don't know if Vestal are crap, but they, they don't have a good reputation. But uh, yeah, I think somebody has replaced that, because that... Does that look to you on the camera? I mean, it looks neater than my soldering, but I would still say that looks like somebody's possibly been there before. I think somebody's tried to do a board repair on this. Maybe they've gone, oh, it's Crypt Software, swap out the memory chip. They've known where to get a memory chip, because I don't. They've put it back in, they've stuck it all back together with it. Oh, look, it's all fine, and we'll put security stickers on its stickers, and it's been non-working. Hence, they then sold it as dead crap knackered. But yeah, I think somebody's been here before, but I don't really care, because this is going elsewhere. This is going to see Saint elsewhere. <laughs> this is this is going and it won't be coming back. I couldn't resist playing with the board. I have ordered another one which is allegedly going to work fine and this board has been used in Bush, JVC, Toshiba, trying to think the others. Um, been used in loads of TVs although with differing numbers of HDMI ports and this being in a different place. Sometimes it's over there, sometimes it's over there. But anyway, I've ordered a board, but this one I had to have a look and I got the microscope out and I looked and the soldering on that memory chip is not so good. I mean, really, it's, it, it really is worse than mine. There may have been gaps, there may not have been gaps, but I've quickly got the hot melty pointy stick over it. Now, worryingly, Although I've got everything looking a bit better soldered, I swear I can see cracks. When I look with the microscope, I swear I can see cracks on the memory chip. So I think it's probably fucked anyway. But what the hell? I'm not doing anything else while I wait for the board. I am really not, and yet I have a million things I should be doing. Yeah, I'm good at this procrastination thing. So, I'm going to... Oh, by the way, don't! Don't do what I'm doing. I have stupidly disconnected the power cable to be able to feed it through the back, to be able to have the back out of the way, to power this up with no back on it. No, that capacitor is okay. This is not safe. I am not safe. Don't do what I do. With that out of the way, <laughs> a bit of doo-doo. I'm powering it up. I have blinky, blinky, I've got interesting electrical noise from the power board. 
No, I still have blinky blinky. It's still the same fault, but then with those cracks, I wasn't expecting much different. Guess it is time for the new board then. Okay, so, here's the new board. Here's the old board. Must not get them confused. This board, when I went to buy it, oh right, here's the new board that I can't get into. Come on. That's no, right. This board, when I went to order it, and it's only taken less than 24 hours. It's taken like, I don't know, 18 hours or something to turn up. Very impressed. But when I went to buy it, it um, the model number came up the same for like a million different TVs. Uh, JVC, Bush, I think Technica maybe, uh, Toshiba, and then, and then this same model number comes up for Toshiba, for, for several different Toshibas, including different 32 inch ones. And the difference is this one has a built-in DVD drive, didn't even notice that. I did notice, however, after the event, that it hadn't been plugged back in. So whoever was so smug with their repair of, I shall, I shall solder the memory chip on badly and possibly, I wonder if they overheated it. I wonder if they hot air gunned this and, and, because the chip is cracked. And if it's more cracks, need a microscope, but it is cracked. Did they put a cracked chip on? Did they crack it putting it on? I don't know. But they were so smug in their putting it on us, when they put it all back together, they didn't plug the DVD drive back in, but still put the security stickers of tamper-proof, this is a perfect set, over the screws. Genius. But, <laughs> here is a board that is apparently for exactly this make and exactly this model. It has the DVD port, it has uh, the three HDMI ports. One of which looks a little... Uh, uh, Spot the one that doesn't look too good. Yeah, a bit concerned about that, but not going to worry too much. Does it wobble? No, it just looks icky. I don't know. Maybe I won't worry about that. Maybe I just won't use that HDMI port. Maybe it's fine. But yes, it's a Vestal board. Vestal apparently seemed to put a board in everything. Not very virginal. So, I have to wiggle this board into there, wiggle, there we go, that is a board successfully wiggled. I then have to screw the board in again, you know, not very virginal. There are only four screws for the, I'm going to stop doing that joke now. One, two, three, four, and I'm really hoping, because I don't know what else could be wrong with this, there could be a million things wrong with this. But the board is sold as working, tested, can send it back if, if no worky, and it definitely looked like, uh, well, everything I could find said, it's a software fault, it's a mainboard fault, you need to put new software on that you cannot get for this model, and that's the bit the software goes in. And to me, that looked broken anyway. It looked like somebody's messed around with it, tried to put a new one on, or resolder it, or reflow it, and it's gone awry. Don't know if I'll keep that board. I said I was going to bin it, but maybe I can salvage bits off it for something else? I don't know. Am I good enough at being able to do that? Am I good enough at knowing what I need to take off that to put on something else? Probably not. That's for the DVD. I'm, that might be speakers, I don't know. I'm just going to plug everything back in. Everything back in. I, in plugging the everything's back in. Ah, there's it is. There's it is. Jesus. In plugging the everything's back in, I will start to talk about my precious Oz. See how this is going to take the TVs away from me. Was Gollum a bit Welsh? Did that sound Welsh? I should never do that again. Right. I'm going to power it up. You have seen me put the board in. You've seen me unwrap it and put it in. This is a genuine. Oh my god, I'm turning this on, is it going to explode? And I'm doing it with the back off, do not do this with the back off! Fiery death! I think, does this say, well there's the, um, there's the fiery death side. Oh, it just says live! It doesn't say fiery death. It should say fiery death. This is the fiery death death side. And I'm going to do it with the back off. Do not do this at home. I'm going to turn the power on. And I hear a buzzing, because I can see as much as you! Hey! I saw the LEDs come on, <laughs> as in the backlight. It might be going blinky blink, but this is a hell of a lot more than it did before. Hey! <laughs> um, 
Okay, I'm gonna put the back back on this so I can actually stand it up properly and then just double check everything works. And because that takes approximately 17 billion screws, I'm gonna do it off camera. Yeah, premature celebration there. We have a fixed green light. It's working, right? I mean, screens lit up. Got a green light. Got... Actually, you can see I'm pushing buttons. <sighs> what didn't I connect? What have I done wrong? I don't know, but... <sighs> I'll be back after undoing 17 billion screws. So, I removed 17 billion screws. I then pulled up the... well, I, I looked, and I couldn't see anything out of place. The only thing I did think was, this screen ribbon's really awkward to get back in, like, really awkward. And, because it's one of those, you, you lift the lifty things whilst pushing the thing down, and as you push it down, the, the, the lifty thing tries to lock itself in place, stopping you pushing it all the way down, even though you've got to push it down after you've got the thing in place, and... <sighs> breathe. And um, yeah, it just, so I thought, well, maybe, and maybe that wasn't quite seated correctly. It's the only thing I can think of, because, yeah, everything else looks fine, and the board is meant to be working, and, well, the screen didn't look smashed, and there's no fiery death marks, so I would keep both hands crossed, but I do need to reach the socket to turn this on, and release the magic smoke, knowing my look. Right. Oh. <laughs> Flashy. Flashy. Ah! Toshiba! <laughs> we didn't... Wait, well, I don't know, did we get this before? I couldn't see the first time. Neither could you. You could see what I could see. Do you see what I don't see? I went back to a blank screen. Oh! Oh! Well, I have nothing plugged into it. We have no BBC2, because there's nothing plugged in. There's life! <laughs> there is life! I'm going to... I'm going to go to the med, because I'm curious about this. I don't know if it has Wi-Fi. I didn't check any of the specs. Installation. No. System. No. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't care enough. <laughs> I'm pressing the OK button, nothing's happening. Uh, network internet set, that's what I really wanted. It's a bit washed out, isn't it, the colour? Maybe that's just how it is. And I don't know if it's slow or unresponsive. <laughs> it says wireless device. Alright, I'm going to believe it has wireless. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. No digital city. That's because I haven't got it plugged in. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do. Let's let's go home. Let's E.T. the TV. Daily motion? Okay. Google, Google, under Google. Google, Google. Oh, is this from Chrome or something? Fast fuck. Ugh. Twitter, YouTube, AQ, other. You know what? I mean, it's it's a little bit washed out. I think the camera's making it look a bit better than it is, but that's that's probably just a setting. That's that's not a broken thing. So, without further ado, because uh, yeah, there's nothing more a Dewey I can do do here. I mean, without hooking up to the net and stuff, but I've no reason to believe it won't. So, uh, where do we stand in terms of it being fixed or fucked? I'd say it's not fucked. Hmm. Like a Vestal, fixed for the very first time. Because the previous prep blew the memory chip up.